Okay, welcome everybody back to our third lesson. Uh, we're doing really good. We've got our sky done. We've got the horizon line done with our little uh, mountains. Um, today we're going to do the sea. So we are. Um, we've got again our tones of blue. So we have. And we're going to finish this practice sea paint the sea and then we'll move on to our, our lighthouse do a little uh, white wash on it and see about maybe doing the light as well um, okay so what we'll need today is I'll just pop this over here we need our practice sheet again okay I said you will you'll have three or four practice sheets by the end of the lesson um, we have our water two jars of water I have my paint for my ocean I have a light blue and a dark blue. I have white and the brown we used. We're going to mix those. And I have um, yellow and orange and a plate to mix on. Okay. And the brushes we will need is our round number eight and the flat 22. Something to wipe your brush with. A cloth. Um, and I think that's it. Okay. So. Before we start and see, we're going to practice, okay? So on the original one, I did a mix of uh, wet and wet first, and then I let it dry, and then I built it with the darker colors. Okay, so let's practice that and see which one you want, okay? Um, so let's do wet and wet, where we wet the paper and wet the paint, and see how you, do you like that? And then I'll do the, um, both combinations wet and wet and wet on dry okay so let's uh, clear water okay and just make a little uh, square of water there okay okay so with our paint so just um, a light wash we're going to need so I'm going to go for the light blue, mix it onto my tray or plate, whatever you have, okay? And then I'm going to work from the front of my little uh, square with the darker, making my way lighter. Okay, so I need a bit more on my brush. So again, to the front of the darker, making my way lighter to the back. Um, Okay, so as you can see, to our foreground, our colors are more vibrant, yes, than they are to making the way back to the horizon. So that's why we're going a little bit richer with our colors to the foreground, yes? Our eye can't see what detail is in the back, okay? So there's our wash, wet on wet, and let's do wash over again. So that's why the front is darker. Heavy with that. Okay, front is darker, making my way to the back. Okay. 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 So with the C, we're going kind of uh, right to left or left to right. Okay. Mixing there. Okay. So this one's wet on wet. Okay, so I've got my lighter wash. And then I'm going to the same colour, but I'm not going to make a wash out of it. I'm just going to put my wet brush straight into my colour, okay? And I'm going to hold my brush up and I'm going to go from left to right, okay, making again with the darker color just trying to get movement of the ocean I see the way it bleeds there doesn't that like our sample okay it's mixing in there isn't it it's bleeding I'm going to wash it bleeding in Okay. 
So I'm gonna let that settle for a second. Wash my brush. Okay, so this time I'm gonna go in with the the darker uh, blue I have. Okay, and I'm just going to mix that in front of my my plate. Okay, give it a mix, and then I'm going to come. I'll see darker to the front. Okay. You can see that that's blending in, isn't it? It's bleeding, isn't it? Into each other. So, and you might like this. Just in this drawing, I did the mix of the two. Okay, let's try a little bit darker there. Front. Again, my brush isn't that wet, and on this I'm just putting straight into the darker colour. Just to see the effect is. Okay. I'm working it. Okay, so give it a rinse out. And then I'll go with the lighter colour. Just to see. No, it's just blending in, isn't it? Yeah. It's just mixing in. You can pull them across don't you like hmm. okay so that's the two there and um, I'm gonna wash my brush out and then in this experiment we're going to um try both techniques so I'm going to wet the paper Okay. Wet the paper. Okay. And I'm going to do my wash again. Okay. Do my wash. So I'm going to put my wet brush into my paint. And get my it's gonna be quite watery okay so I'm going to start to the front again there it is bleeding away into each other do it again bleeding into each other there yeah okay the darker to the front there There's our wash, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to my brush. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is we need to let that dry, okay? And um then we can work our paint on top of that. See this one's quite it's just it's bleeding into each other. But then you can work once that dries you can work over it. So Let's see how the two of them work together, okay? Let's see how you feel. Um, we're going to let them dry. Okay, so guys, these are dry. Um, I want to go with my uh, same colour, but not as washy on this one. And we'll see what happens. A little bit of the lighter blue. And darker to the front. Slightly more. Okay, that's there. 
wash my brush. Okay. You get tones in there. So your brush is not too uh, wet, just slightly damp, and we can work our lighter and darker areas yeah, into it. So let's do that. Okay, and then I might just go over again with the same color. Just the tip of my brush. Okay. Tip of my brush. Okay. Tip of my brush. Okay. So I'm going to do the same with this one because it's dry as well. We let it dry and we'll just go with the darker maybe tones through it. You can really have lead into each other. I'm just uh, wetting the brush a little. And working those tones through. I just think you can work on top of what you've got and see what works for you. Oops. Up there. Okay. Just gonna move that out. And then you just dry brush. You know I went too heavy on this one. I didn't like it. Again, this is only practicing, I know, but it's good to get kind of what you want. Okay, I'm going to go with this darker tone here and see what happens. This one. Okay. So I like the two, even though they're the same colour, I like the lighter wash and then the, the main colour itself coming through. So I'm going to try and get darker undertones there. to the front is not don't even go back over and see what we got. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got there now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I much prefer the two methods. So this is wet on wet where paper is wet, paint is wet. But what happening? What's happening is it's bleeding in, yeah. And even though it was dry, I'm still not overly happy with it. And this one where we did both, we wetted the paper and just did the first wash, wet on wet, and then we let it dry. And now I've come back over and I'm introducing my uh, color, darker color. So I'm just again uh, a cleaned brush, clean brush, and I'm just. Pulling the paint out just to see what happens. Just blending, getting the mix in there. So now it's kind of slightly um, wet, uh, wet on dry, isn't it? So I'm just just pull that 
darker. Oh, too much on my brush. Not too much, just dry your brush off and then try and get that like that gently, yeah. Gently there. Oh, if you work that well. Again, we have the whiter areas of the water coming through, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's... Now is just to get it onto our page. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Mm. Just taking your time, yeah? Taking your time. Don't rush into it. Taking your time. Yeah, we I tidied that up a bit maybe. We could get like and I was, it's nice to see a frame on it. So I'm much for the two methods so do but that's just me so you might prefer the wet on wet so this is wet on wet and this is both okay wet on wet and then we let it dry so we did and then we went wet on dry okay yeah I think I prefer this tonal it's, it's brilliant that we've actually three tones going through here so we do so we have the, the lighter wash the lighter blue and then we just didn't wa uh, water it down as much and we went back over it and then I've got the darker the darker wash going through okay okay so compared to what we've done the tones are different as well tone is different blue that darker blue in it yeah okay so let's pop this to one side and okay we practice go or we're finished practicing let's start it so yeah okay so um okay so i'm going to wet my paper just move this out of there. Okay, so I'm going to wet the paper. Okay, so just be careful as you're coming to the top of the horizon line. You don't want to mix it too much because then the colours that are in that, the watercolours, will bleed down through. So I'm just taking my time going down, and we've nothing to worry about to the foreground or the, the lighthouse for the moment, so we can comfortably mix. The right side and let's mix the left side so same again so just be careful okay okay we've got that yeah okay so remembering on this one i'm going to wet and wet and then i'm going to let it dry and then we're going to uh, go back over it. Okay, so with my lighter colour, I'm going to dip my brush in. So with my lighter colour, mix it onto my my plate. I'm going to get a wash. Okay, and I'm going to start to the front. Okay, so and you can dab it onto your um your tester piece as well. Just if you want to, just in case here yeah so that's right so just gonna add a little bit of water to it there okay so let's get on our wash okay so it's gone lighter there to the horizon and darker to the front okay i don't want it to bleed too much either oh i'm gonna put my wet finger on it <laughs> too much into the lighthouse so far so good okay so just watch what you're you're doing yeah okay 
Yeah, okay, so I'm going to clean my brush, dry it a little, and go back in again, just with the darker tones going through there. Okay, make my way up to the horizon line. Okay, so let's leave that one and then go to the other side. Okay, so just test it again. Yeah, okay, so again, coming to the front. Oh, I never wet it. Ah! So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, get a clean brush with water. And I'm just going, no, we did. It must have dried, actually. We did, didn't we? It must have dried so quickly. So that's brilliant. I can just go cue it there. Ah, that's all wet there now. So, okay, so I'll go back with my brush and start. So amazing actually how quick that dried. Okay. Just again the darker tones to the front, making my way to the horizon line, minding my my um, lighthouse. So if I've gone into the lighthouse, get your brush clean water okay dab it off and just that's it just kind of collect the paint collect the paint i'm after dipping my hand into it there now so collect the paint off okay and then you can have your little tissue okay and that will collect the paint yeah okay so i'm going to just clean my brush off again and i'm going to go to the right hand side and just collect that paint Okay, clean it off again and just flip that paint. So, to get rid of your mistake. Yeah, just. And then I have a little bit too much on my rock, so I'm just. Take that off. Again, clean water the whole time. Yeah. And just dry it off on your cloth. Yeah. Okay. Come down this side. Yeah. So it's easy as that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's all off my my lighthouse. I put my hand right into it. <sighs> now, okay. Yeah, happy out there. Okay, just dab that there. No, oh, it's not dry. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and then we can um, come back and work over like we did on our sample. That's the one I'm picking, the both. So we wet on wet and then we're going to let it dry and then wet on dry with our paint, okay? Um, so practice ye and see which one ye like, okay? Just the, the Okay guys, we are all dry, so we are. Um and let's go with our same colour but not as washy, okay? So the lighter blue. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse my brush, get the the light blue, just onto the tip of my brush. Uh, I'm going to practice on our sheet before I put it down. Okay, right here. So let's go. Okay, so again, just working to the side, working back and forth. Just be careful, mindful of your rocks. Yeah. Um, okay, and then we can blend that in. So we can, as we're making our way 
back towards the horizon, isn't it? So I can tip off that horizon now a little, so I can just blend those in. Okay. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more to the blue. So again, holding my brush up the pencil and just tipping it there. And just working it around. So just take your time, yeah? Don't rush into it. Just take your time, yeah? We'll get there. Or maybe you're already done. <laughs> So just take your time back and forth, yeah? Back and forth. And then we'll blend these in now. So again, I can go to the horizon because it's all nice and dry. So I can. Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush out. Clean water. Okay, I'm just going to dry, clean brush. Nothing on, only a little bit of, it's a little bit damp. Okay, and I'm just going to blend that in. So if it gets too wet, just remember to uh, dry your brush it off. Okay. I'm just trying to add some tones into it, like we did with our um, sample piece. Okay. So just um, blend it to A little bit of different tonal blues in there, yeah. Actually, the tape is working out nice for me, so I don't have to worry about the page moving. Some habits are hard to break, aren't they? You have to get used to. Okay. So I don't want it too covered. Get a nice bit of white going through as well. I want the tonals of the blues going through, yeah? Okay, so I'm just going to work that over. It's hitting the, going behind my uh, lighthouse, yeah? Okay, okay, so. Um, I'm going to do the same this side, okay, so before I go into the dark, yeah, and then I can let that settle for that minute, okay, so wash my brush, and then just get my blue again, so again I'm tip of my brush, and I'm going, moving my way across the page, yeah? Taking time, taking time, no rush, no rush. Take your time, yeah? We're in no hurry, yeah? No hurry. Okay. In no hurry. Okay, so I can go back up to that horizon line there. I don't have to worry too much about the bleeding on me. Okay. So I'm going to just tap on my brush again, my brush in, tip of my brush, and I'm just going to add a little bit of depth to it there. 
And then we're going to go back over again with our, our darker blue. So just taking my time. I hope you're getting on well with it. Okay, I'm going to just blend it. Okay. Wash my brush, clean brush. Okay, uh, nothing on my brush, it's just a damp brush. Okay, and I'm just going to work those through. See if we can get more tones added. Now we're getting near to the fun part, the lighthouse, and then our splashing of water. We're getting there. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing? I think okay, so let me leave that there for a sec. Okay, I need that. I need that feed. Okay, I need that. Rinse my brush. Okay. Here we go with the darker blue. Okay, so wet your brush into the darker blue. Okay, and you don't need to drown it too much, just on the tip of your brush. I'm going to practice. No. Okay, I'm going to just practice on the tip of it. Okay. So, I'm just taking my time, yeah, take my time. I'm kind of dotting across here, let's we'll see how we get on. too dark here. Yeah. Yeah. Just to define the horizon. Yeah, I'm going to wash my brush, clean it. So I'm going in with a clean brush, damp brush, just to see what I can do. Blend it. It's not as harsh lines. I do like that. It's bigger. Let's try the best. See what we can get. We're just adding different tones to what we have. So I might just um, 
put a little bit of that dark blue on my plate make a little wash out of it test it on my sheet and just see what happens not very wet and that's the beauty about our little small number eight you can work it okay I'll make my lines a little bit more shrink it all just a tooth. I'm kind of now on the side of my brush. Okay, I'll leave that side for a second. Rinse and clean again just to go to the next side. Let's see again. So dampen your brush a little and then into the darker blue. Okay, so this is on the tip of the brush. Okay, so try to go a little bit. Yeah, this time maybe. Let's go. Okay, I can go to the horizon there, just add a little bit of depth to it. Bring it out. Underneath this water. Okay. I'm just working it out. Okay. Working it out there. Okay. And take the excess off there and just blend it out. Okay, some blue on that there. And just with the nib of my brush, just work that out. Okay. I'm going to leave that for now, I think, yeah? Let's see. And come back to it. Okay, my brush is dry. Let that dry then. Okay, so we have put our practice our C, put the C on, and I want to do a wash on the lighthouse. Okay, so I'm going to I have clean water there, so I want to dab my brush in water and I'm going to wet the I'm gonna wet the lighthouse so we are yeah I'm just gonna put a white wash on it and we'll just define a little bit of sh uh, shadows on it a bit of shading on it and then we will leave it at and we might do a little bit of uh, fire and that we'll see okay so let's do that so okay so I'll just use my round for this for the moment so I need the white here so again, just be careful not to run into the sky or the sea now because the sea is wet. So just take your time going down over where we need to go. We actually only need to wet the white areas. So down here near the rocks. Okay, and up here on this one. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't need to go. Okay, so that's wet. Now, I need some white and some uh, brown. I'm just going to dip my brush 
into my quite here and have a quite liquidy it's wet on wet and I'm just going to give a little layer you can hardly can't even see the white I'm just, I'm just going to give a little wash of it on you know it's very hard for you to see this but just do the white okay so rinse that off I'm just going to take any excess I put down into the red away so I'm not going to get it take it out of the window I don't think I will anyway but okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix the two together so wet my brush my white mix it onto my plate mix a good bit of white onto the plate and a little bit of the brown okay so a little bit of the brown not too much of the brown okay and then I'm just going to practice there on that so it's kind of like a, a creamy color almost I have a hair on my brush there yeah straight here okay so it's just like a cream color can you see that in that you can see it's only very very um an off white so it is okay so just in our shading so obviously if we were standing in front of our uh, lighthouse it'll be a little bit darker because the, the rocks are casting a shadow on it and also you have to take in where the sun is coming in where's the sun is it coming from this side is it coming from this side so we will obviously be darker either on the the left if the sun is coming in from the right so there are things we have to consider so let's say my clouds are quite um dark here on the the right so um it's going to be darker on the right hand side and lighter on my left hand side so i'll put down a bit of white and i'm just going to put in my light wash of that off white now it's very very light you can't even see that on the in the camera but i can build it so i'm coming um this side as well and um, i get some a uh, little bit more brown into that a tiny bit of brown into that don't want too much either so practice there So just a little bit in there. Now, so we wet the page and we have our wet paint, so it's a bit of wet and wet. So just a bit of shading in there, yeah? Don't need to go too mad. Just casting a little shadow there, yeah? Okay, and remember if you've put too much on, go back with your dry brush. Okay? And it'll take it out for us, okay? So I think I'm going to let that dry. If I feel I want it slightly darker, we can go back over it, yeah? Okay, so that was easy. Easy part of it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think it might be just a little bit darker around the railings there. In around the railing. Okay. Okay. Now, so for our um, light, wet my I'm back to my number eight round. And I'm going to I'm going to leave it dry, and I'm going to put some yellow in there. So I'm just going to put some yellow on my water into my yellow, and I'm just going to mix it on my plate there, just to see. And I practice then as well to see how it is. It's quite bright, isn't it? You see that there. So again, just using my practice sheet. 
And I'm just going to see about putting it in there. Put it in very, very gently, yeah? Very gently. Just to see, yeah? I'm working my way around the, the, our blue sky. So it is just in between the two center, working off our center uh, beam of light. I might just gently pop that in there. Again, it's dry. I put dry uh, paper and just a wet brush. Okay, I kind of like that. Okay, I'm go a little bit. That's the, that's our main color. We go for the wash this time. So just a little bit of darker tones of yellows through there. Yeah, a bit darker tones. Okay, I might leave that. Yeah, I think we'll leave that and let that dry. Let our white dry and the off white shading. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do our rocks, practice our rocks, and then we're putting on the red and just filling in the the um, windows and our detail on the on the railing. We're nearly there guys, yeah? So I hope you're happy with your ocean. As well we're going to be doing the little uh, splashing of the white, this foam splashing up so that will take some of this harshness off our little lines there as well. So it will. Okay. Okay. So we're into our final lesson soon okay so hope you're enjoying it guys talk to you soon